Disney may be getting a big offer for ABC. Byron Allen has reportedly put up a $10 billion bid for the network, along with the FX and National Geographic, according to Bloomberg. Yahoo Finance's Alexandra Canal joins us with the details. Hey, Alex. Hey, Brad. Yeah, so a $10 billion bid from Allen, reportedly. On top of that, you have Nexstar Media, Media Group being another reported potential buyer for these linear networks. Now, it's important to note that these are exploratory talks, so nothing has been set in stone just yet. Disney did respond to the reports, writing in a statement, quote, while we are open to considering a variety of strategic options for our linear businesses, at this time, the Walt Disney Company has made no decision with respect to the divestiture of ABC or any other property, and any report to that effect is unfounded. But overall, this does represent how serious Bob Iger is about potentially selling off the linear networks. He said before that linear may no longer be core to Disney's business moving forward. We also heard from Nexstar earlier this week at a media conference, the company did express its interest to potentially purchase some of those assets from Disney, although they did say that any deal moving forward will be complicated, especially if ESPN is not included in that spinoff since ESPN and ABC both share some of those telecasts. And then on top of that, you know, at the end of the day, Linear is still a profitable, high margin business. It does fund a lot of the growth initiatives that Disney has been tackling, like streaming. So there's that tricky balance balance between appreciating the cash flow that Linear provides while also understanding that we're in a big secular de de decline right now as more Americans cut the cord in favor of those less profitable streaming services. So overall, yet another example of just the complexities within the Linear bundle, and it comes on the heels of that charter agreement that right. they met earlier this week. So a lot going on at Disney right now. Yeah. So Ali, what is Disney's future on broadcast TV? That's the big question, and there's a lot of unknowns right now. CEO Bob Iger said during the latest earnings call that the company is going to focus on three main growth areas. That's the film business, the parks business, and the streaming business. So linear networks, nowhere near included in that. And yes, we have these early stage talks reportedly with Byron Allen and Nexstar Media. However, analysts have long questioned who will be the buyer of these businesses, especially amid those uh, cord cutting the clients that I've been talking about. And this is something that le legacy media, in addition to Disney, is facing overall. Uh, Comcast NBC, Paramount CBS, Fox Corporation. Uh, according to a recent data from Nielsen, linear TV viewership fell below 50% in July for the very first time while time spent streaming via a television continued to increase. And then you have those advertising woes that just keep mounting for these various companies. And then interestingly enough, I took a look at at the market cap of Netflix, which is currently hovering right above 175 billion. That roughly equals the market caps of Disney, Fox, and Paramount combined. So investors seem to be putting their weight behind streaming services right now. Yeah, absolutely. Ali, thanks for tracking this, breaking this down for us. We'll see if a deal gets finalized. We'll see.